Okay, so I know you guys, um, I know you guys will um, know what this is, hopefully. I've tried to research some of it, but I'm not quite sure if I'm understanding what I'm reading. But um, the E, like Edward, GFR, um, with the slash 1.73 AFR, was low. It was... Um, it should be, it says it should be less than 60, and mine was greater than 60. Um, and then the EGFR slash 1.73 SQ dot M was um, 52 ML slash MIM, whatever that means. And then um, the bun, B-U-N, uh, says hi. It was 26 M-G slash D-L. Um, I'm not sure if that has something to do with lipids or something. Uh, the creatinine, creatinine uh, 1.1 M-G, which says hi. Um, then the, I already gave you the AMA. Uh, let's see. I think that's it from this pack. The next pack, which is the most recent test results and the thickest, is this is just the most recent blood test. Can you get a, can you see that? All those pages? Yep. One page. Okay, I'm going to go quick though. Um, and it's not everything in here. I'm only reading the things that are abnormal. Uh, my LEUK is 1 plus. It's higher than 1. And it says abnormal because it should be negative. Uh, my WBCUA, which is my uh, white blood count, uh, is 6 to 10. It says it's abnormal because it should be 0 to 5. And, um, oh, it says 10. Okay. And then the mucus threads, uh, UA, says present, and it should be not present. Um, the crystals UA says present and abnormal when should say not present. Then the crystal type, it says calcium oxalate. And then when I go to the white blood count, it says it's high because it's above 11.2. Um, let's see. There are some things I have question marks by, but I don't think I'll be able to fit it in this video. The MCH is 26.6 PG, which says it's low. And then the um, hematology comment, let's see. Okay, so I have a EST space GFR of 72 ml min 1.7 or something like that it says um, the est gfr for african american is 83 and uh, as an african american i guess it should be under 59 so that says not normal and then when I go to abnormal, then when I go to uh, this is more rheumatology uh, blood work, the A ANA homogenous is one colon eighty, which I told you about. Uh, it says homogenous DNA. And I'm not sure if this means this is what they done on the test. Um, but it says homogenous 
homogeneous DNA, high titers, SLE. So um, then it says ANA speckled pattern, um, RNP antibodies, uh, 0 0.3. And it says AI, and I'm not sure what that means. Then it says Smith antibodies, 0 0.2 AI. And uh, then it says the CRP, and I'm not sure what CRP stands for. I haven't Googled a lot of these yet. But if anybody already knows, you can just <laughs> comment, please let me know. Uh, CRP says 7.6 mg slash L, and they say it is high. And I'm not sure what that even is. Um, then the C4 serum, 49 mg slash DL. Um, ADUL, I guess that stands for adult, and it says it's high. Uh, it says normal range should be 9, anywhere from 9 to 36, and mine is 49. Uh, CH50 uh, is greater than 60 U slash ML, and it says it's high because it should be between 22 and 60, and mine was greater than 60. Okay, let's see. Then my RNP antibodies, they got another one here, 0 0.3 AI. And vitamin D uh, was 25. And 11.1 .1 NG slash ML, it says it's low. And this, um, uh, it should be 30 to 100 and mine was 11. Now this is where he uh, prescribes me a very strong round of vitamin D. And um, what he did was um, he gave me 50,000 units per week for four weeks. And I take my last one, I believe, this Sunday. And then I go on daily 1,000 units a day so um, that he said should help maintain my vitamin D and as you know most lupus patients are vitamin D deficient so they're saying oh yeah everything lines up with lupus but they're not going to say it yet so but I'm okay with that as long as they are doing what they need to do so I can get better I really don't care what they say <laughs> but um, so that's it I'm way over my time Loopy lovies to you, and I'll see you in the next update. Please let me know uh, if you have any uh, insights into what all this is. I would greatly appreciate it. Pools of spoons.